Location portraiture requires more imagination. Uh, there's more background. There's more uh, things in the picture you have to control. You control it with lighting, using different lights, or carefully selecting outdoors. If you're going to do it outdoors, or carefully selecting where you're going to make the portrait, what time of day, and how relevant is it to the people you're photographing. This style of photography with wide-angle lenses getting a lot of uh, things in the background to relate to the subject is one of the things that elevated me in photography. Well, my daughter's been around uh, photography most of her life. She used to work in a studio, not as a photographer, but just helping in the studio. So she'd seen a lot of good photography over the years. And looking at her work now, you can see the design and lighting uh, in her pictures that I think she picked up a long time ago as second nature. It's not something she had to really go out and think too much or read too much. I've always seen in his family portraits relationships captured between people and their pets, and I wanted to carry on that relationship that people have with whoever they love and where they are. Uh, parks, beaches, homes, just places where people like to spend time and then telling a story. And watching it through my dad's eyes, like he said earlier, that's just something that comes very natural for me. And it seems like uh, forming a composition, using my imagination and collaborating with the client and just helping them have something that's timeless and classic, traditional, that they can capture forever is very exciting for me and a lot of fun and plus have a touch of elegance to it.